Hi guys. All right, it's vocab time. So get your vocab book out and turn to page 160. Page 160, and we're going to start on unit 16. We're going to read Two Troublesome Monkeys. This is fantasy. This is one of my favorite stories in our vocab book. I like this story. Okay. All right, so you follow along. Barney and Chi-Chi were monkeys who lived in the rainforest. They were always getting into trouble. They took advantage of the younger monkeys and stole their bananas. They played tricks on the older monkeys. One day, the monkey troop held a meeting. Chief Monkey announced, We've had enough of you, Barney and Chi-Chi. What are you implying? Chi-Chi asked. I'm not implying anything, Chief Monkey said. I am saying it clearly. You won't listen to anyone and you are defiant. Go and leave us all in peace. Now, Chi-Chi had always wanted to travel. Great, she said. I am totally ready. Barney had always had ambition. He wanted to be Chief Monkey someday. He thought he might be able to learn things from people, so he agreed with Chi-Chi. The two of them caught the next train into the city. As soon as they got off the train, they saw a bus marked City Zoo. Sounds like fun, said Chi-Chi. Once inside the zoo, they caused nothing but trouble. They made faces at the giraffes, jumped on the backs of two fearsome tigers, and teased the bears. Soon, all of the animals in the zoo were upset and started screeching. The zookeeper said, I revoke all of your privileges to visit this zoo. You shouldn't have been allowed inside in the first place. I'm calling the police. By this time, the two monkeys were hungry and ready to leave anyway. Barney spotted a police officer buying a banana and a fruit sap at a fruit stand. Chi-Chi grabbed the banana. Barney stole the mango. Then the two monkeys ran off as fast as they could. By then, the police were on full alert. The officers finally caught the monkeys. Not long after, the monkeys found themselves sitting in jail. Have you noticed how dirty the city air is? Chi-Chi asked. Yes, Barney said. They should purify it. Have you noticed how small and damp this cell is? It's wretched. It's noisy here too, Chi-Chi remarked, and the banana I ate wasn't ripe. I think we were better off in the rainforest. That idea merits further thought, Barney said. At that moment, Chief Monkey appeared outside the jail cell. She said, I am here to take you home. Great, Chi-Chi and Barney, excla Barney exclaimed together. There's one condition. We're glad to negotiate, Chi-Chi said. We don't really like the city. Very well, Chief Monkey said. Then you will cause no more trouble at home. You'll respect both the young and old monkeys. We promise, the two monkeys said. And so the two monkeys went back to the rainforest. From then on, they were well behaved. In a few years, Chi-Chi, not Barney, became Chief Monkey. She kept perfect order within the troop. She knew how to deal with troublesome monkeys. After all, she had been one herself. That's a good story, isn't it? All right, let's go to page 162 and 163, and we will review our words. Number one, advantage. Noun, something that puts someone in a better position. The advantage of sitting up front is being able to see the movie better. Number two, ambition. Noun, a strong desire for importance or excess. My success, my ambition is to be an excellent artist. Number three, defiant, adjective, showing strong resistance, willing to challenge or conf confront. The defiant team member refused to listen to the coach. Number four, fearsome, adjective, frightening or alarming. That horror movie was quite fearsome. Number five, imply, verb, to suggest something without saying it directly. Their kind remarks imply that they want me to join in. Number six, merit, noun, a quality that deserves praise. The chief merit of the book is its surprise ending. Verb, to be worthy of, deserve. We merit good grades for our hard work. Number seven, negotiate, verb, to discuss in order to arrive at an agreement. 
the United States and Great Britain negotiate the Treaty of Paris, Paris in 1783. Number eight, purify, verb, to make clean and free of dirt or pol pollutants. We need to purify the dirty water so we can drink it. Number nine, revoke, verb, to cancel by withdrawing or reversing. The judge decided to revoke his license. Number 10, wretched, adjective, very unhappy or unfortunate, miserable, very p poor in quality. We felt wretched about the terrible accident. All right, let's go on to page 164. We'll do these this page together. Okay, so we got to find a word to fit into the sentence. Number one, to refuse to obey authority is to be fearsome, wretched, or defiant. C, defiant. Very good. So go ahead and circle that and write it in. Number two, to have a blank is to be in a better position than others are. Ambition, merit, or advantage. Advantage. Excellent. Circle it and write it in. Number three, when you feel really awful, you feel fearsome, defiant, or wretched. C, wretched, excellent, write it down. Number four, if you blank water, you make it clean. Imply, purify, negotiate. Purify, good job. Number five, to blank an offer is to take it back. Merit, revoke, or negotiate. Revoke means to take it back, so revoke. B. Number six, a blank is a wish to achieve or be successful. Ambition, advantage, or merit. Ambition, good. And ambition is a wish to achieve or be successful. Number seven, something that is fearsome can also be described as scary. Oh, I think I just gave you the answer, didn't I? Fearsome. So something that is blank can also be described as scary, fearsome. Number eight, to blank is to try to reach an agreement, revoke, purify, or negotiate. When you want to reach an agreement, you negotiate. Number nine, a job that is well done, blank, a reward, implies, merits, or purifies. Merits and a, a, a reward. Number 10. When you hint at something, you blank it. Imply, merit, or purify. Imply, excellent. There's an awesome little picture of a shark. The great white shark is a fearsome fish. All right, on page 165, you have synonyms and antonyms. I want you to send me a picture of page 165. Bye, guys.